Hi everybody, welcome to back to my channel. <laughs> Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. Jules Pick Up slash Judy is back, and this is my first tutorial of 2016. And I just got inspired by Kelly Jenner on how she does the makeup. And this makeup is very matte, so more the matte kind of shades, very brown, very more browns, more browns, <laughs> browns, a very dark brick tone lip. God, every time I wish somebody can pay me for saying that. And yeah, it's like very contour fades, more bronzing, more highlighting. I hope you guys will enjoy this video and stay tuned because it's coming right after this. Bye. So I bought a pack of brushes and I think it's uh, locally produced or it's locally owned. Uh, it's called Face Works. Uh, they, I think I saw it through Instagram so one of the makeup artists that I follow Nuex Rosie I'm sure most of you know him um, he was using this brush and he was actually promoting it so it's called Facebook Cosmetics um, so when I've ordered it, it go, it's in like a pouch and then I ordered like 150 but for like 15 set of brushes something like that which is like a really good deal lah because like and the brushes look really really good quality it's still in plastic so just want to have a shout out um, first the way how it looks I really like it already um, it has all kinds of different um, types of brushes uh, if you want me to have like a more in-depth video on these brushes uh, just let me know at the comment box below but for today for this tutorial I'm just gonna use them and then feel them because I haven't used them before so it'll be interesting to find out how it is so there's a mixture of blending brushes and um, detailed brushes and stuff so I'm gonna use the kabuki brush today and maybe a few more brushes um, and then we'll see how it goes so it's really interesting because I bought like the set they gave me like a beauty blender a black beauty blender and then a brush cleaner tool forgot it is so the feel is very compact I really like it um, and you know the design itself is very very minimal, very um, your usual kind of um, design, but I think really good. It's really good. If I think really, um, it feels good. It has the it has the weight too, so it'll be interesting to find out how this works. And another different thing on try is this is interesting. So this video is gonna be very interesting because a lot of things I'm testing out. I'm so sorry, I'm gonna start my phone so I'm sure some of you follow Nikki tutorials. So remember, I don't know really. She's using like this. Um, after shave balm, Nivea after shave balm for men and she said it's excellent for primer so that's why I'm going to test it out now I bought this for 22 ringgit at Caring Pharmacy because I just thought like let's just try it and I didn't know they were selling it in Malaysia so something interesting fine and this very heavy stuff I think it's a glass oh my god it's actually glass I don't know why men's product is made of glass very fancy so she said in her tutorial to use it to just put it all over I don't put a lot because it's quite thick and my face is combination so you know I don't want it to become so thick okay. oh god it smells like a man so she said to rub it until it gets tacky this is the first time I'm using a men's product my NARS um, all day luminous weightless foundation just felt like using this today and this is the color Syracuse just for fun I'm just gonna like tap it on the back of my hand so far this brush is feels good it's very dense so apparently the balm is supposed to help um, blend your foundation in so I think so far it's really like tangkapping the foundation on my skin prime my eyelids with nice um, eye primer and I'm just putting it like a light uh, light application I'm using the Naked One palette because I think most of you have it um, and I'm gonna use the color Buck first apply it on the crease first if you don't have a crease just you know fill your socket so because i'm applying this color first it's just for a transition color uh, more for easy blending um, there's no particular look that i'm following from kylie 
are more of like trying to and trying to replicate um, the sort of looks that she always wear. I'm gonna go with um, the shader brush from the face work again, and then I'm gonna apply. I think, I think this is who is this? I think this is a uh, oh this is for Makeup Geek, and I think this is Mocha. So I'm applying it on my lid. And then with the same blending brush just now, I'm just blending the colors together. So if you have any bronze color, um, feel free to apply it. And I'm using for my sleek contour kit, more of like a deeper brown. Slightly lighter than the Makeup Geek and I'm just applying it in the crease also for a more smoky effect. With the same shade of brush that I used just now and taking the same matte brown shade and applying it in my lower lash line. I'm going quite low with this. This is Max Brown Border. It's one of their technical, technical liner. I highly use brown liner but I feel today I, I just, I don't know, something says brown liner today. So I'm just, you know, giving some waterline lining that waterline with some brown I'm gonna go with my favorite lashes um, of course it's the Elise one uh, and I think I like to use I like to use the 4781 so these are more like shorter so I just love the effect of this and I bought it from Instagram last so most of the stuff I did buy from Instagram I need my blue gel blue gel blue gel got it I need to blow the um, the glue first until it becomes a little bit tacky. Tacky means a little bit like crust. Just wear a bit of mascara first so that your, your what do you call that? So that your eyelash can hold on to something. So you guys stick first in the middle and then I put stick it. Okay and then with any black waterproof pencil I'm tight lining my lap upper lash line water line because I've already done my lashes so I think I want my lash line to be a little bit darker so I'm going with some black eyeshadow and I'm just applying it near my lashes like that okay so I'm gonna do my brows I'm gonna do as dark as I can because that is how she wears it so I make just a very like you know obvious arch but at the same time um, it's quite because she has bushy um, eyebrows anyway so almost there sort of not really I don't know I don't know guys sometimes most of the time I have no idea what I'm doing I'm using my Sephora uh, clear gel mascara and I'm just brushing through so that everything's a little bit more neat. So I'm using Maybelline's H Rewind first. I don't know what is coming out? This is in the color medium moyen. So I'm just gonna like draw a triangle. Okay. I'm not going to in because I don't want that dark shadow to kilang gonna do my nose my forehead my chin because we're gonna go through contouring underneath my contour buff it buff 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 it with the same buffing brush And this H Rewind Concealer is amazing. This is the Anastasia's Beverly Hills Contour Kit. I used it before actually. It's so good. They have like really nice um, contour, um, you know, contouring small brush. They have like the best, uh, they have like the best shapes and sizes. Definitely gonna buy more brushes from them. Okay. 
so I'm gonna go with this color um, I don't know what's the name oh it's cinnamon oh no it's new oh no cinnamon black bit here hmm what's wrong it doesn't come out so I'm just gonna really buff this in this Kylie Jenner is like always like the bronze goddess so I'm making the every perimeter of my face a little bit more smaller with my kabuki brush i'm gonna blend a little bit everything so everything doing like, i don't know like a transgender okay now we're gonna set the face so how we're gonna set the face i'm gonna set my face with my laura messier powder and i'm gonna use their brush too i'm gonna use their powder brush oh no i think i use a smaller brush because i want some control I want some control of the product okay it's so nice the brushes are so nice i feel like i can do this with foundation and i'm gonna just pat 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 i'm not gonna i'm just gonna set my t-zone i'm gonna bake and i know i'm not supposed to bake just now but i totally forgot so i'm gonna bake underneath now I'm gonna bake this shit up. Sorry. But I'm not gonna bake like you know super much. Just trying to bake as much. So baking if you're thinking what the hell's baking is not what kuih baking. It's more on like applying uh, powder um, at your high points of your face and then you basically just brush it off then you leave with all these uh, with the effect of highlighted parts in the contours of your face this time too boom boom Okay, it's time to bronze, bronze, bronze. Bronzing time. So bronzing, I'm gonna use Nars Casino. Use the same brush that I applied just now, right? Bronze it away. Bronze and contour, or whatever you call it. So because I already applied like the the cream just now, right? So this, so the cream just now acts like a base. And this one sets. Now I'm going to contour my nose. So with their angle brush, I'm going to contour. So I'm going to contour, making my nose a little bit more smaller. I'm using a bronzer for this. This for fun. I know it's going to look a little bit too warm. But... I'm going to apply another color so I'm making like a line from my eyebrow down my nose okay, I'm going to use like a lighter contour color to blend everything I know there's so many steps actually but if you want to achieve that look that Kylie Jenner look sort of slash sort of look like slash almost there look a lot of stuff you have to do lah. The brush just now, and I'm gonna just buff everything in because I don't want it to be so lightly. Love it. Love it. Love, 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 love. I love these brushes. Brush, brush, love. Wow. So now I'm gonna use um, my Mary Luminizer, of course. I'm gonna use the same brush that I used just now. Not, I'm not bothering to like get new brushes. It's gonna use a bit because a little goes a long way. So I'm just gonna reach my nose. Bam! A bit of my cheekbones. Cheekbones there. A bit of my cupid's bow. Use this. I'm gonna use a random lip liner.
And now I'm gonna do the famous those color matte lip cream and this is the color brick it's super dark super matte and this is how it's gonna be okay ready So this is the finished look. I'm gonna like let go my hair and be all Kylie Jenner. <laughs> but before I end this, I'm gonna put some blusher. There's a bit of orangey blusher. Just to, oh gosh. So this is the finished look. Um, let's have a zoom in. Um, I don't know. I feel that this screams Kylie Jenner, even though my face do not look like Kylie Jenner. But I feel like, you know, the type of tones on your eyes, very soft, wokey, but it's dark, but it's soft. You know what I mean? Um, very muted lips, very dark. Well, sometimes she goes for a lighter one, right? Um, but yeah, I thought going for a dark. Look different. Interesting. So, this is the finished look. Do I look like Kylie Jenner? Do I? Maybe I look like... Maybe if I close... Maybe just an eyebrow? No, I do not like her, but this makeup is inspired by her. Um, so I hope this has been very entertaining, which I feel it's been a long time since I filmed. So a little bit slow, but just bear with me. At least the look is complete. I thought I'm never going to finish this look. It took me a while. Like I got like a bit doubt. So when I, every time when I do a tutorial, I have a lot of doubts in my head. Like, shit, am I saying this more? Am I talking enough? What am I saying? Like, oh my god, I sound like an idiot. That's really how I feel every time when I film. So yeah, hope you guys like this video. And if you love it, if you love this video, you like it. You like the button down there. And just say hi or whatever you want at the comment box below. And don't forget to subscribe if you haven't subscribed to my channel. And hope you guys have a good day. Hopefully this video will be up soon. Uh, yeah, so please stay tuned for more videos. I will try my best to have more videos on this channel and yeah see you guys around bye